When talking about regular expressions, there are some terms you would see a lot and it's important to understand them. So before moving on with this course, let's first understand some of these terms that applies to regular expressions. The first term we're looking at is string. A string is a combination of characters which you apply a regular expression to. A string can be a letter like A or it can be a word like JavaScript or it can even be a sentence like I bought two shoes for $5 from the market. When you apply a pattern on a string, you can get the parts of that string that matches the pattern and the parts of that string can also be called substrings. So looking at I bought two shoes for $5 from the market, a substring can be market, can also be ket, K-E-T. A substring here can also be $5. Substrings refer to specific parts of the whole string. Another term to understand is letters or you can also call them alphabet which refers to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. <sighs> T U V W X Y Z. See, I still know my alphabet. And letters can be of different cases. You can have the uppercase A, uppercase B, uppercase Y, or you can have the lowercase R, lowercase S, lowercase G. So when you come across letter casing, it's just referring to the letter being either in uppercase or in lowercase. Another term to understand is symbols. A symbol is a character which you can call a sign. And these are not letters or digits, these are characters that can have special meanings. For example, you have the dollar symbol or the dollar sign, you have the period sign, backward slash sign, and many more. There are so many symbols, and as we would see in this course, some of these symbols can have special meanings or special functions in regular expressions. Another term to understand is white space, or you can call it a space, which refers to a vertical or horizontal space between characters. For the horizontal space, you can have the single space, which you get by clicking the space bar on your keyboard and this is the space between these words on the screen hello and world between hello and world you have the single space you can also have the tab space which is also a horizontal space and you can get this by clicking the tab key on your keyboard and this is longer than a single space you can see it between these words on the screen hello and world now it might look like that is a single space probably repeated three or four times but it's actually a tab space it is just just one tab space which is longer than a single space and then coming to the vertical space you have the new line space which is the space between one line and another for example the words on the screen hello and world between hello and world you have a vertical space there which is a new line space and you can also call it a line break another term to understand is character when you see character it means digits letters symbols or white spaces all of this classifies as characters so a string can be made up of one or more characters going back to the string from earlier i bought two shoes for five dollars from the market that is a string made up of different characters you can see spaces and the characters you can see letters you can see numbers and as well you can see symbols another term to understand is pattern what is a pattern this refers to a regular expression which can match a combination of characters now a pattern can be as simple as j followed by a followed by v followed by a which is java or a pattern can be a non number followed by a symbol followed by another number or a pattern can also be a symbol followed by four letter words followed by a horizontal single space followed by one letter now when you see or hear me saying pattern rejects pattern regular expression rejects construct know that i am referring to the same thing in this course i'll be using these words interchangeably but all of this simply means regular expressions or they simply mean a pattern one more time you need to understand before we proceed with this course is flags. Regular expression patterns have some behaviors by default. Now flags are optional characters you can add to the end of your pattern to change some of those default behaviors. Now don't worry if that doesn't make sense to you. You're probably feeling like what did he just say? What exactly are flags? I have a dedicated video on flags and then you're going to see what I mean by changing the default behavior of regular expressions. Here is a summary of the terms that we have looked at in this lesson. Like I said, it's important for us to understand these terms before we proceed with this course because it helps you to understand regular expressions better you can see the string which is what you apply a regular expression to the digits which refers to your numbers the letters which refers to your alphabet and like i said can be in different casing uppercase or lowercase the symbols which refers to 
symbols. And like I said, this can have special meanings and functions in regular expressions. We'll look at that later. We also saw the white space where we have the horizontal and vertical space. We have the character, which refers to either a space, a digit, a number, or a symbol. We saw pattern, which can also be referred to as regular expressions, rejects pattern, or rejects construct. And then we saw flags, which like I said, change the default behavior of regular expressions. Now we'll use these terms in several lessons in this course, so it's important to keep them in mind so that you understand the things that I explain. Now let's move on to learning how to create our first regular expression.